Today's story is an amazing example of self-control in action. Today, we will hear about David and King Saul. So David had been chosen by God as Israel's next king, but David wasn't king yet. At this point in time, Saul was still in charge. David served under King Saul. He was part of Saul's army and he won many battles. You'd think King Saul would be really happy about that, but actually Saul was very jealous of David. King Saul was out to get David, so David escaped into the wilderness. But David wasn't alone. Around 400 men joined him. David had some friends there to help him, but I imagine he was pretty angry at King Saul for making him have to constantly run away and hide. Saul heard that David and his men were camped in the desert of Maon. Saul said, you know what? I'm the king and I'm amazing. I'm going to go get David once and for all. So Saul took soldiers to chase David and his men. Just as Saul closed in on David, he received word that Israel was being attacked. Saul was forced to stop the chase and go deal with the Philistines. David and his men decided to hide out in a safe place near En Gedi. A messenger brought news to Saul that David was there. So Saul gathered 3,000 soldiers and set out to capture David. David and his men hurried into a nearby cave. Saul was getting very close. Outside near the sheep pens, Saul called for his men to stop. He entered the cave because he needed to take a break. David's men told him, this is your chance. You can get Saul while he's least expecting it. So David crept up close to Saul without being seen. But instead of attacking Saul, David simply cut off a corner of Saul's robe. David came out from the cave and he bowed down before King Saul. David told Saul, some of my men begged me to kill you, but I didn't. I said, I will never lay my hands on my master. He is the Lord's anointed king. Look at this piece of your robe in your hand. I cut off the corner of your robe, but I didn't kill you. See, there is nothing in my hand that shows I am guilty of doing anything wrong. David wanted Saul to see that he had chosen not to attack when he had the chance. Well, guess how Saul responded? He wept. Saul told David, You are a better person than I am. You have treated me well, but I have treated you badly. I know for sure that you will be king. I know that the kingdom of Israel will be made secure under your control. In the end, David promised Saul that he would not hurt him or his family. Saul took his men and went home, leaving David in peace. That was a pretty amazing story, right? I mean, David had every reason to be angry at Saul. Saul was chasing him and making him live on the run. But when David got the chance to get back at Saul, he didn't. He chose to stay in control. He didn't let his anger control his actions. That's what we need to remember today. Don't be controlled by your anger. All of us feel angry from time to time, but we don't have to act on that anger. We can choose to have self-control instead. We can find a way to solve the problem without letting our anger control us.